Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. We are talked about yesterday in our last episode the domino effect of our praise. Today we're going to talk about refuse to play the blame game. So we're we, we're going we're going to shift gears just a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> our scripture passage comes from Genesis three twelve, and it said, and the man said, the woman whom thou gavest me. She gave me of, of the tree and I did eat. God asked Adam, who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree where I have commanded you not to eat? Now, I'm, I know this, this particular book is probably going to portray this as God being angry towards Adam. I don't believe God was angry with Adam. I, I think he went into that garden. Adam, where are you? As if a... Uh, a parent going into a, uh, a store uh, looking for their kid who's run off. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's, let's dive into this and, and see what God has for us today. Adam, Adam didn't answer either question. <clears throat> oh, that he would have. Oh, that he could have been honest enough uh, with himself to cry out to God. I have sinned, have mercy on me. Instead, Adam tried to justify what he had done by blaming someone else. It never works. It never works to blame somebody else for your problems and your issues. He said to God, it's the fault of the woman you gave, gave to be with me. She gave me of the tree and I ate. How many men try to this same line today? The, and and it, it's, a, it's a lame line because it has no strength to be able to stand up because you, it never works out to blame others. How many men try this same line today? I'd rather, I, I'd be a better husband, Lord, if my wife would just, I would be a better father, Lord, if my wife i be further along in my life and in my career, Lord, if only my wife would. I wouldn't be so angry and lash out with so much hatred, Lord, if my wife would only. And if the, it isn't his wife he gets to blame, he might try to lay it on someone else. I'd be more honest in my business dealings if my partner, I'd be in better control of my temper if my boss wouldn't just, I wouldn't be like this if my parents, I wouldn't have all these troubles if people in government, the blame line didn't work for Adam and it won't work for you. The situation in your life is not the fault of everyone else or anyone else or someone else. It's your responsibility. It's your responsibility to respond instead of react. When something happens, an immediate, re an immediate thing, an immediate response to that is we react to it, and it, a reaction is not gi is not giving much thought to what we're w the way we're going to respond. A response to that is to slow down, listen to the Holy Spirit, who's never going to steer us wrong, and make a good decision on what we're going to do and how we're going to respond to something. So be a response responding person rather than a reaction person. The blame line didn't work for Adam, and it sure won't work for you. The situation in your life is not the fault of someone else. It's your responsibility. Deal with yourself, and you'll probably find that those you have been blaming are not nearly the problem they were. Come before God today with an honest heart. And admit, God, the problem is with me. Fix me. Lord, show me what it is that you want me to do in order to be forgiven and healed. you got to step into your forgiveness. You've already been forgiven. Just accept and receive that forgiveness. And, and the thing is, is that when we can be open and honest and, and 
and stop blaming others, healing will happen and take place in our lives and we'll be able to step in fully to the men God's called us to be. Forgive others and to heal my relationships with my wife and my children and my friends and my co-workers. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow, follow me here. This, this concludes this particular section of this book. And next week, we're going to be talking about your wrestling match with God. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll hang with me. Some good stuff. Love you guys.